Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT wow. Dynamite Explosives with Jonas here the man on the stage. I sure am, you sound like you're dying. And we're playing the Houston Oil Baddies in Madden 20, we're playing the Brownies. Heck yeah, as always, we're playing offense only, we're simming that D using the balance playbook. Mm. Playing on all Madden arcade mode difficulty, we are about to go to the zone. Mm. Auto zone. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Get in the zone. <laughs> Auto zone. My favorite, dude. Is that? Really. <laughs> is that your favorite no. place to go? <laughs> it's the guy's like, come to Manson's furniture. <laughs> hey My name's you. Mark. You remember Mark, dude? Dude, dude. We've, right. we've talked about Mark before. We have. Mark. I have imagined we've talked about almost everything. <laughs> nope, that is not true. Then Mark was a great man. He really was. You know something that we've never talked about before? What's yeah. that? If you can use a yo-yo or not. I cannot use a yo-yo, Jonas. Like, not at all? Like you I mean, know. I can give to go up and down. Like, you don't know any, uh... <laughs> you don't know any, uh <laughs> do you know any, you don't know any yo-yo tricks? <laughs> No, I'm just saying. Uh, no, I don't know any tricks. Uh, I can get it to go down, and I can get it back in my hand. That's about it. Uh, can you? I used to play yo-yo a little bit. Really? Were you, were you competitive? Oh, no. Oh, okay. I uh, did a lot of the same trick, mm -hmm. and over and over again, until my mother was like, get out of the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> what trick did you know? Walk the I dog? Can do, I can walk the dog. Yeah, of course. I can make it stall. Ooh. I can do the uh, cat's spring. Oh, it's the one where you like... Yeah, okay. Back down. I can do it around the, 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 the world. Okay. I can do, I mean, I can do the one where you like you shoot it straight out and it comes back. Right. I, can do, I mean, I can do quite a few. I mean, there's not that many tricks. That's really not. Dude. Yeah, dude, I can do most of them, I guess. Uh, I can't do any of the super crazy ones. All right. I mean, it's so it's so weird to even think about the yo-yo being a thing nowadays. But it, I know, right? It kind of is. Can, can you roller skate? I am trash at roller skate. And I've never ice skated. And I've never roller skated. Right, well, let's, let's get into roller skating. Before we get nice ice skates. Well, I mean, just just to cover the gambit. Yeah, okay. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, so you you don't roller skate? I I went a few times when I was a kid. It just wasn't my just wasn't my jam. I felt very I felt very unsturdy. Like yeah. I went to like people's birthday parties at the roller rink, and I would wear skates and I'd skate around a little bit. But I was more the guy who would like play arcade games and like maybe go out on the floor a little bit. Um, I just didn't feel I just I don't know. I never felt comfortable. For me, with roller skating, I was never good at it either, Jonas. So you're not alone. Um, but for me, it was like I remember I was young and I was roller skating. I fell and somebody ran over my finger. And, oh, you know, I was just over for you. That and point. yeah, it was like PTSD would never let me get good at roller skating. Yeah, I feel like I also feel like like big guys, not like I think like the bigger you are when you're younger, it's harder for you to skate. Maybe I don't know. Like I've if you're tall, some, I'm not even saying like hat guys, just like tall, large stature. Uh, yeah, because, like, shorter people have a lower center of gravity. Right, and they're, they weigh, like, 50 pounds. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so if you're, like, a larger per larger kid and you're broad-shouldered and all that, it hurts like a bee when you fall down. Oh, yeah, the bigger they are, the harder they yeah, fall. Yeah, right, like, you break your butt bone and stuff. That is a true statement. Yeah, right so, like, I think I just felt very, like, insecure, I guess would be the correct word. But yeah. I didn't want to I don't like taking L's either, but it was definitely yeah, somebody... Yeah, I'm not big on L's either. It was definitely somebody running open my finger and then I translated into ice skate that same PTSD and then I was like oh well great if somebody runs over my finger with ice skates on exactly I'm like I'm definitely not comfortable with this it yeah and I felt if I couldn't do four wheels like all together in like a square I definitely couldn't do four straight in a row ones I hear those are easier though but tell me anything you don't buy it I never even put one on I tried uh it was not easier <laughs> <laughs> was not. I was like, oh, this is equally as cumbersome. Yeah, right? <laughs> I mean, I could just walk on my sneakers or yeah, I could right? do this. Yeah, I don't to roll around down there. Yeah. So, skateboarding? No? No. I, I mean, I messed around a little bit, but nothing. I never owned one. It was always fun. Uh, yeah. I Me and wheels don't get along except for a car and a bicycle. Yeah. Yeah. I can I can understand that. Um, I like skateboarding. Um, I want to learn how to do it, but I also don't want to fall. Well, yeah. Now you're old, you break bones. Uh, I mean, I probably would have broke some then. If yeah, I, but it wouldn't have been as like, 
life altering. Yeah, I guess I would have healed over time. Oh, yeah, you didn't have, like, things to do in school. Yeah. You don't like, go to work and use your hands. But skateboarding's pretty cool, man. Oh, absolutely, and, dude. And skateboarder chicks. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, I got things to do with skater girls. Like, Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm just a skater girl. Send to you later, girl. <laughs> don't say little skater girls. <laughs> That's not <laughs> <laughs> just kind of thinking I feel you. Okay, right. I miss skater both. women. <laughs> I love you, skater women. I see you later, so women. You go. Go. How many 40 year old women you know that skateboard? <laughs> <laughs> Drops a kid off at soccer practice, goes to the park. <laughs> Shreds it up, dude. Shreds, dude. It's out there doing Christ airs and 900s. <laughs> Christ airs. Dude, I always wanted to do a Christ air so bad. Like, that's why I wanted to do it. <laughs> just like the names of the tricks. <laughs> I might do a double fakey nose grind. The burn twist. Yeah, dude. Uh, so no skateboarding. How about like a water skiing, jet skiing, or, or something like that? Wakeboarding, I guess. Uh, I've never surfed. I've never paddleboarded. I've, I've used a kayak. Oh yeah, you did bought a kayak. Yeah, I didn't like it. And then you took the kayak back. Yeah, because I didn't like it, dude. I didn't want to get an inflatable one. It w I mean, it worked fine, but I was like, man, I want a real one. I want the real thing, dude. It's like when I bought the blow-up doll. I'm joking. <laughs> You're like, I, need I just a need real. the real thing. I need a. You know, it's better off to get the real thing. Jonas, that's a whole nother spur we were. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to get to to the end, but blow up dials. I mean, so you. I don't understand why people were into blow up dials, Jonas. Like, how was that a thing in the 80s? Like, uh, I think it's still a thing now. I mean, no, now it's real dials. Oh, because there's like, yeah. yeah. Well, before, yeah, it was just like, wait. Whoa, what's going on? What is He's not okay. Was he? Oh! <laughs> That was like a 270 pound man he just picked up. He just deadlifted his bro, man. <laughs> Why would that be a thing? You can't just deadlift your buddy. Nope. You know, I don't care if you are a professional athlete. That's he didn't even awesome. have good form. <laughs> and he was stiff. He, like, he picked him up by one leg and he just was straight. That's a lot of core work, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny though. Uh, <laughs> all right, Jonas. So no, no water sports. <laughs> Separates you. Uh, we're talking about. I mean, we're still talking about it. We're talking about sports. Uh, no, the first thing that we asked. It started out with yo-yos. Oh, yo-yos. That's yeah, what it was. And then we went to the roller skating. Yeah, I know skating. now. I, just, I need the word for the video. <laughs> um. So we yeah, Jonas. Uh, you ever skied? Water skied? I have never skied. Uh, here is fun. I tried a snowboard on once for a few minutes, and it didn't turn out too good. Why? Why is the score ten to zero? I mean, ten to three. I want to win more, Jonas. Wow. Well, when you play your series, you can win as much Oh, Jonas, don't tell him about that. Nah, dude, don't. Have you played football? Uh, I never got to Oh, game. that's right, that's right. Basketball? No, I never played any organized sport. Uh, baseball? Never played any organized sport. Okay. I've played, I mean, I played football in the yard. I've played basketball. Yeah, that's kind of what I meant. baseball with people. Yeah, I've played them all. just not organized. Yo. Like, Jonas, I used to, when I lived in Richmond Heights, I used to legit go up to the court and just, like, pick up a game with a bunch of, like, just random guys. Oh, you were, like, balling out of control, dude. You're, like, no. No, I was absolutely bad. I was trash. But I was big. I had a decent hook shot, which is absolutely crazy. I know it's nuts. But I had a, I played, like, a two, I played forward most of the time. Um, and I had a decent hook shot, and I had decent D. I feel like I had good D. Oh, so you were like uh, crashing the boards, uh, bending the rim, yeah, like you, people. yeah, like you weren't getting a shot off in my face, man, because I'm I'm up on you. Like yeah. I'm not I'm not super fast. I'm not like Gary Payton over here, but I'm I'm, I'm gonna be on top of you. I actually play pretty decent D too because like it, defense, I feel it's I mean it's a, it's about skill, mm -hmm. but it's also about effort. Because mm -hmm. if you like can if you blanket them, man, they can't do anything. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Unless they have good handles and stuff like that. Yeah, if you're playing like man to man. Um, which most of the time I was. It was mostly like four and four or five. We've had some five and five games. Is there some guys balling out of control up there? Or what? Um, I remember 
<laughs> well, a couple of my friends said that they went up there and they were just like, hey, can we get game? Whoa, what? what? <laughs> he pinned them! <laughs> Why did the guy who got the touchdown get pinned? <laughs> he pinned them, that's funny. They have that's a lot great. of wrestling references in this game. Do you I'm, that? I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm fine with that too. Uh, but I remember a couple of my friends were playing basketball at the park, the same park I would go. Ain't the hood at all. In fact, it was mostly like Amish people lived around there. But uh, all there, right? No, I wasn't there. Oh, okay. I can't really what, remember. But either way, they told me they were playing with some guys, and they were like the first play that these guys pulled out. The guy like dunked on my friend, and he was like, "All right, y'all probably win." <laughs> He was like, it was like an alley oop half court shot, and he was like, yeah. Nah, I'm good. He was dude. like, the score ended up being like 21 to 3 or something, because one guy just like shot it up to me. <laughs> it was like ridiculous. But I love going. I used to love doing that, man. Just going up to the court and being like, let's see if somebody's there. I would just play work on my game. Kind of miss that sometimes. Fo football, I kind of wish I had gotten into. Yeah, me too. I, like it just wasn't on, and then got that illness, and it just never happened after that. Yeah. Uh, so you never played baseball. I have one baseball story. Yeah. I remember. Well, I'm I a good baseball story too. You, you never played New York. I did, but I, I, yeah, I got a good story. I think you probably, I probably told you this. Story. All right, well, you tell yours first, then, because I just told my uh, my best. So uh, story. one time. Uh, I was playing. I used to play catch a lot. Yeah. Row with like my neighbors, mm -hmm. and they were like, my neighbors were old, and they had grandsons. Ah, dang. Mm -hmm. And they were older. They were like, I was like at the time. I think I was probably like maybe eight at the oldest, mm -hmm. and they were probably like. And we say it all the time. 13 and 17 or something. <laughs> something like that. Like, they were older kids. And they moved, we would all just, like, we play basketball at my hoop in my yard. And, all, and like, we were playing catch in the road. And I remember the two, the two brothers, their brothers, they were playing catch. And I was playing catch with them. And he was like, okay, me and him are going to play catch for a minute. And I was like, okay. And I was just like a stupid kid. And I just, like, laid down in the road. What? Like, because it was like, so they were in front of each other. It, I lived on a very un, not busy street. You literally stopped. I missed that. There was, it was hardly any traffic on my road. So I just, I just, they were, they were like throwing the ball. So I just laid down in front of one of the guys, and I, the guy said, "Okay," meaning he was ready. And I stood up, and he had thrown it like as fast as he could and hit me with the ball and knocked me out. And, because I stood up in front of it, it just was like perfect timing. Of me, he said, "Okay," like throw to him, and I thought he meant, "Okay, get up." And when I stood up, I remember hearing, "Okay," and then waking up on the couch. Like he knocked me out cold, and like I woke up, my father was sitting next to me on the couch. Like I got hit, I got hit with the baseball. And out. Gee, that explains a lot. Oh yeah, well, yeah and there was the other time where I, I hit my head on the cement. <laughs> That wasn't from baseball, but that was just, that was just good parenting. That was... <laughs> oh, John. Double concussions, dude. That's cool. Jesus, man. That explains a lot. Yeah, at a young age on top of it. <laughs> My baseball story isn't that great, Joe. This is just like uh, I wasn't even playing baseball. <laughs> I just remember like it was my job. I can't remember what job it was. Okay. It was one of my first jobs as like a nursing assistant or whatever. And they were having like uh, they were having like a company picnic. And okay. They, yeah, and they yeah. had uh, they had mud volleyball. Yeah. Oh, I mean, Yo. I love volleyball, dude. But it was like in the mud. Yeah, that wouldn't even fun. It, it was actually really enjoyable. I don't even remember. I think my girlfriend at the time made me do it. Oh, or my, see, I have a hard, fuzzy recollection. It might have been something with her church, too. But I believe it was a work thing. Anyway, did the mud volleyball. That was fun. I was dominating because I was like freaking dynamite in his prime. It's just like I was like 20 years old and I was just like, Argh. Yeah, right, right. Big, but, tall, virile, strong. Yeah, dude, full of just piss and vinegar. Uh, but then there was a baseball game and I got drafted and I was like, whatever, dude. I'm 20, dude. I'm, I'll do whatever. I'm the best in everything. Uh, three strikes and you're out. Three strikes and you're out. Three strikes and you're out. Jonas, I cannot hit. At one point, I swung the bat and I did a complete 360 and everybody laughed at me. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> Baseball is like stupid. You guys, I'm going home. I was like, baseball's stupid. I don't blame you for that. Baseball is stupid. 
Yeah, they make so much. Right. They make so much money. That's my baseball story. Uh, other sports, Jonas. Soccer? No. I never played it. I man. played soccer when I was in like grade school, but then yeah, my I mom think stopped taking it. Yeah, I played it, but it was just like, yeah, it wasn't like real soccer. Yo. Know, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, kickball, Jonas. Yeah. What? Yeah. what? Kickball. Kickball was my jam back in the day, dude. Man, I think adult kickball leagues in Boston. Really? Yeah, they do, yeah. That's They're the same, so like, the same group that do like volleyball and stuff. They'd probably be really intense, though, man. Oh, I'm sure they are, dude. Because, like, you can you still tag somebody with the ball in kickball? So, yeah. Yeah, I don't want no grown adult throwing a freaking kickball at my head, man. Because I will fight a motherfucker. Well, I mean, it's part of the game, friend. <laughs> I, would play, I would play adult dodge. I would absolutely not. I will end up, man. No, it'll get personal. We're taking it off the field. Yo, yo, fam, you hit me in the face. You hit me in the face, motherfucker. <laughs> Why is my nose bleeding, fam? <laughs> Yo. Why is my nose bleeding? Your nose got to bleed, too, now, okay? No, I'm not playing a dope. No, no. <laughs> I'd watch it, dog. Nor would I want to feel bad if I, like, hit some ball, too. Picture my big black ass knocking out some poor <laughs> hipster <laughs> chick like out. 108 pound white girl. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'd feel like an a hole, dude. Yeah, yeah. And then she'll have like built up animus toward my race, and I don't need that. Wow, you're <laughs> a young white woman into a racist. <laughs> I'm, <trying to> her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that if I hit her and gave her a concussion with a ball, she might come out of her coma a racist. That sounds true. <laughs> I think that's true. <laughs> she might. There's always a chance. Yeah, you never know. yeah I guess. Yeah, I guess you can hope. Right? All right, so kickball, dodgeball, badminton, Jonas. Crash out, dude. All right. How about golf? Would you go golfing? I uh, I was forced to play a lot. When I was young. My grandparents were making golf. They bought me a set of clubs when I was a little kid. What do you mean forced, though? Because my my mom and dad would take me out there when they would go out and stuff, mm. and my grandparents went golfing all the time, so I had to go with them to the golf course. And they started buying me clubs, and they broke me out on them as a kid. To the point where I didn't play them. I know how to play golf. Like yeah. I know how to swing a club. I know, like, but I haven't played in so long. It just it burnt me out to the point where I didn't want to play. Well, I could see, especially because it's not the most exciting sport. Right. right. Like now, I played when I was grown. I went with a, there was a free course in Youngstown, a free seven full course. And I, I went with a buddy and hit the ball. I mean, I hit the ball like crap, but like it was fun. I see why like grown men do it. Yeah. It's exercise to get you away from your family. Yeah. Going to the driving range is a nice treat. So. All right. Well, that being said, that is all the time we have for today's episode. So please make sure to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. And if you've already done that, share this with every person in your entire Rolodex. If you don't know one of those is, that's your phone contact. But for Jonas and TNT Dynamite, we are